triumphs. Straight leadership. This is Philippine Biography, the program that thrives on rich details, seasoned with insider insights and observations. For a weekly dose of who's really who, check out this season's episode, Know Your Congressman. See and hear their triumphs and successes. Situated south of Manila is Cavite. Its name comes from a Filipino word, Kawit, owing to the hook-shaped land on the old Spanish map. It consists of three congressional districts and a total of 824 barangays. Three component cities here are Cavite, Trece Martires, and Tagaytay. Cavite is predominantly an agriculture province. Its major crops include rice, corn, vegetables, fruits, root crops, coffee, coconut, and sugar cane. The province is endowed with rich offshore and coastal fishing grounds. Fishing is a major source of livelihood in the coastal towns. Our country saw the dawn of a new era of independence through the efforts of the First Republic of the Philippines President Emilio Aguinaldo. On June 12, 1898, this is where he exactly proclaimed the Philippine independence. Formerly the residence of Aguinaldo, it was in this house that the first Philippine flag was unfurled. It has been converted to a museum replete with memorabilia of the Philippine Revolution. Only a few hours from Metro Manila, Cavite is one of the favorite destinations of urban dwellers for a weekend of rest and relaxation. One of the most popular tourist destinations is Tagaytay, which is 55 kilometers away from Metro Manila via the Aguinaldo Highway. It offers a great view of the Taal Volcano and an escape from the summer heat because of its cool climate due to its high altitude. This is the place where the country's father of the Philippine Revolution, Andres Bonifacio, lived. The facade of the house is of adobe, although renovated several times over, its original Spanish style has not changed. Home to the beaches nearest Manila, Ternate promises the right mix of fun, sun and sea with its bountiful stretch of beaches, forest trails and resort houses. Known as The Rock, this place was the site of the bloodiest battles of world war between the Japanese Imperial Forces and the combined defenders of Filipino and American troops. One of the provinces of Calabarzon, Cavite, is rich in culture and history. In 1872, a mutiny at the Cavite Arsenal implicated three Filipino priests, Jose Burgos, Mariano Gomez, and Jacinto Zamora, who were subsequently executed by the Garote. Cavite was the center of the military operations during the Philippine Revolution of 1896. The Spaniards executed 13 Filipino revolutionaries in Cavite that year. The provincial is now named after them, Trece Martires. Trece Martires, which is one of the cities in Cavite, is politically subdivided in 13 barangays. Each barangay was named after one of the 13 martyrs of Cavite to commemorate their bravery and heroism. Trece Martires is under the 2nd District. It is also composed of Desmariñas, Imus, Carmona, Tanza, and General Trias. With the vast and fertile land available in the 2nd District of Cavite, one of Congressman Elpidio Barzaga's mission is to provide long-term support to our nation's agricultural producers. Barzaga, who is currently the congressman of 2nd District, allotted 1 million pesos from his pork barrel to help farmers in buying seeds for planting rice. The Plant Now Pay Later program intends to provide means for farmers who plant palay to make their trade more financially rewarding through a fertilizer loan payable during the harvest time with no interest. The amount of the loan depends on the size of the agricultural land of the farmer since 3,000 pesos is allotted per hectare. One of the beneficiaries is Wilfredo Langit of Bagtas Barangay Tanza. He says Congressman Berzaga's loan program helped a lot to boost his agricultural productivity. Wala ako nung magamit ng mga binhe, abono. Hanggang sa nabalita ko meron doon pinapa ko si Congressman. Kaya sabi ko, makapunta nga kaya ako roon. Not only did Barzaga provide loans for farmers, but he also purchased a 3 million peso Kubota four-wheel tractor with the help of the Department of Agriculture, which shouldered the 1.2 million pesos. 
The lawmaker, who subsidized 60 percent of the amount, turned over the tractor to United Caragao Farmers Incorporated of Desmarinas Cavite. It is available for rent at a minimal amount of 700 pesos per hour, which is a lot cheaper compared to the rental of a private tractor at 1,200 pesos. Congressman Barzaga also purchased 12 units of Kubota hand tractors at 100,000 pesos per unit. These were divided to his districts. Barzaga served as a mayor of Das Marinas for three terms from 1998 to 2007. It is one of the fastest growing municipalities now in Cavite. From an agri-based economy, the town of Das Marinas has evolved into highly urbanized and industrial town. It now boasts of two industrial estates, namely, First Cavite Industrial Estate in Barangay Langkaan and Das Marinas Techno Park located in Barangay Paliparan. Das Marinas is home to hundreds of thousands of residents who occupy the more than 70 residential subdivisions of the municipality. It also serves as a haven to investors with its industrial estates and diverse pool of manpower. Its infrastructure projects involving major road construction and widening support the town in its functional role as one of the residential, commercial, industrial and university centers of Cavite. To protect its environment, Das Marinas has adopted its Luntiang Das Marinas program, which is envisioned to plant 100,000 seedlings planted over the town during the year 2000. While the second district is considered highly urbanized, Congressman Barzaga still believes in sustainable development and that it can only be achieved by preserving agricultural lands. He recognizes the important role of the farmers in achieving sustainability for the province and the country. But who is Congressman Elpidio or PD Barzaga? Let's get to know him more when we come back.